Hello dear friends, today we are going to give a book review about how I taught my grandmother to read and other stories by Sudha Murthy. This story is really an inspiring one for everyone. In this story, Sudha Murthy had taught her grandmother how to read. In this story, you can learn there is no age where you can learn. For a good cause, if you are determined, you can overcome any obstacle. You can do anything you want. You can read at any age. There was a little girl who was 12 years old, used to stay in the village of North Karnataka with her grandparents. Olden days, the transport system was not so good, so everybody was waiting eagerly for the bus to arrive and bring the newspaper or any magazines. At that time, Triveni was very popular Kannada language writer who writes many books. Her way of writing is so easy that everyone loves to read her writings. One of her novels, known as Kashi Yatri, it was appearing as a serial in Kannada weekly, Karma Veera. It is a story about the old lady and her ardent desire to go to Kashi or Varnasi. Do you know why everybody likes to go to Kashi? Yes, most Hindus believe that going to Kashi and worshipping Lord Biswasara is the ultimate Purnia. That means they will get all the Purnia of their life. In this story, this old lady also wanted to visit Kashi. Here there was another young orphan girl who falls in love but there was no money for the wedding. Finally, in the end, old lady gives away all her savings without going to Kashi. She says the happiness of the orphan girl is more important than worshipping Lord Biswasaraya at Kashi. So here we can understand that if we can help somebody, then that is more powerful than going to temple and worshipping God. So always we should help others. Now we will come back to this story how Sudhamurti taught her grandmother. Her grandmother name was Krishtaka who never went to school and she could not even read. But she was very interested in that magazine. Every Wednesday the magazine would come and Sudhamurti read the episode of the story to her. During the time, grandmother was forgetting everything only she was concentrating to listen to the magazine. Here, Sudhamurti's grandmother also never went to Kashi and she wanted to find out at the end what happened in that story. After hearing each episode in Kashi Yatre, she would join her friends at Temple Courtyard and she would discuss the latest episode with her friends. Once Sudhamurti went to attend one wedding function. When she returned back after a week, she found her grandmother in tears. She was really surprised because she knew that her grandmother is very strong. She was never worried. She was never disappointed. She was never cried even in the worst situation. But what happened now? Why she is worried? She used to call her grandmother Ava which means mother in Canada. She asked her grandmother, what happened grandma? She just nodded, but did not reply, did not tell anything. In that night, they were sleeping in the open terrace of the house. It was a summer night. There was a full beautiful moon. Ava came and sat next to her. Ava was very affectionate. She just put her hands and touched her forehead. Then she could realize that Ava wanted to tell something. What is the matter, Ava? Then her grandmother started telling about herself. When she was a young girl, she lost her mother. There was no one in the house to look after and guide her. Her father was a very busy man and he also got married again. In those times, people were not considered education essential for girls, so she never went to school. 
even she got married at a very young age and she had children she became very busy in all the household works later in the life she started cooking and feeding all for her children and grandchildren at that time she used to regret not going to school because she was not able to read at that time sudhamuti could not understand why her 62 years old grandmother was telling everything to her when she looked at her face she could find out she was unhappy her eyes were filled with tears then she told ava don't cry what is the matter how i can help you ava then her grandmother told do you know when you are here every time kam vira came as usual i opened the magazine and you were reading to me when you went to the marriage function i could not even hear the story when i opened the kashi yatra i could not even understand anything what was written there many times i rubbed my hands over and over on the page wishing i could read but i could not read if i only i was educated enough i waited eagerly for you to return i felt you would come early and read for me i even thought of going to the village and asking you to read for me i could even ask somebody in this village but i was too embarrassed to do so what is the value of money if i cannot be independent if i cannot read by myself then sudhamurti didn't know what to answer ava continued continued and continued then ava told she has decided she want to learn kannada alphabet from tomorrow onwards she will work very hard and she will read the letters even she had fixed the deadline at saraswati puja that day she should be able to read the novel on her own she could see the determination in her face she asked ava at the age of 62 years you want to learn the alphabet ava answered yes i want to for a good cause if you are determined you can overcome any obstacle i will work harder than anyone but i will do it for learning there is no age bar the next day onwards she started tuition to ava ava was a wonderful student the amount of homework she was doing was amazing she would read repeat write and recite after that the sera festival came as usual secretly i bought kashi yatra which had been published as a novel by that time her grandmother called me to the puja place and made me sit down on the stool she gave me the gift of a frock material then i asked why you are giving me frock material even ava bent down and touched her feet she was very much surprised and she didn't see elders never touch the feet of youngsters then ava replied she told i am touching the feet of a teacher not my granddaughter a teacher who taught me so well that i am able to read and i became independent it is my duty to respect my teacher then she opened it and read immediately the title kashi yatra by triveni the publisher's name now her grandmother has passed with flying colors this book is dedicated to the citizens of tomorrow who will bring changes in our country Thank you everyone please like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest updates you can write your valuable comments in the comment box i would definitely reply it